Hello everyone, this is my first English tutorial. It's about DayZ running on a Linux machine, exactly a server from DayZ with the new 1.7.4.4. The, the developers include a new function that's called HiveX. And you cannot run your old server wine or, or wine installation with this. You need found Visual Studio Runtime blah 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 uh, 2010. I'll show you exactly what you must do to run this on your Linux machine. Not really stable, but uh, it runs. My server runs about 5 or 6 hours now and it looks good. Okay, first of all, you need Wine H Wine with the new version 1. 1.5.80. You see, my page is in German. I'm a German guy. Please excuse my bad English or my grammar. What else? <coughs> okay, you must do. Uh, okay, I think uh, can I do this in English? No. Deutsche Sprache. Okay, we put it in English, and you can see the development version. Why? this one. You click it here and you see this is the variable from the following locations. And you see we can download it from pdownloads.sourceforge.net blah 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 or from the mirrors e what else. Um, choose what you want. So I think Swatch what is a little bit faster than so mm -hmm. I don't know if from this uh, this source but I think it's very lame after that. Um, yes. But first of all, you need uh, an, an, yes, an, a found C on your server like this. As you can see this, I'm using no machine, but you can use real found C or tight found C on your server. And that is what you need. And I installed, <laughs> installed GNOME on my server, yes. You see a full GNOME on my server with a manual and something like else. And this is what we called that we must download that wine version, yes. You can do that with a terminal console. The console you can type here W G E T and the uh, domain or the thing you want to download. And yes. To compile this you need root access for your wine. You see I have here the whoops Leo the root control console this must have enter my password yes I know it and you see you open the root terminal as administrator administrator is the root access in German yes and you can see I have fully root access and you see all of my servers and I uh, prepared that I inside wine uh, on my root folder see it here oh, wait uh, here wine ls you see there's my wine I'm copy that right now, yes, copy and paste, right, it's very nice, copy here. You see all my menus are in German. <laughs> and here you see, I have downloaded the version of Wine. I have two different folders, Wine 32 and 65. Oh, uh, 64. I only use uh, 32. Then uh, 65 don't, 64 don't work correctly. You cannot use Wine CFG. Or something like else won't work, and you must start your uh, your application with Wine 64. That's uh, so bad. Okay, first of all, you must compile this. Uh, I think uh, you have an experience to compile Wine. When you have no experience to compile Wine, read the tutorial to, to at uh, winehq.org. I think winehq.org is yes, yes winehq.org. Um, the only thing that I need you is to is to do that. I do that. That's my soup. See, that's my wine folder, my wine source folder, and I can do configure, and that is all what I need. And then you can make can do make depend. Wait a little bit to when you have more than one core, you can do minus j and do four. Eight, what else? How many cores you has? It is uh, will be a little bit faster then. After that, you do make with your 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 core. You place the x to your cores uh, 
you have six, eight, seven, I have eight, also I have four cores with eight threads. And I will do that and uh, use all four, eight, all eight cores. Yes. After that, you might made make install and wine will be successful installed. Yes, and you heard a lot of a little bit about wine prefix. Yes, you can use a wine prefix. You can use it when you know about play on Linux, you know about the software, and um, the software have uh, wine prefixes. Yes, for all your games you install, and make a different Windows version, you can install .NET 4 or something else, and it's all different to the software that you want to use. Okay, and that is back to our local user control. My local user is Sanchez, yes. Um, and you need a new wine prefix to install the, n the new wine with uh, your your custom Installation you need, delts uh, you need. Okay, look, we make this wine prefix. I think it was this one wine prefix. Uh, we do a new one in home. My folder Sanchez, and uh, we do it wine. What did you toot? Yes, after that, we are directly wine CFG. So, see you the, co the configuration of wine and home blood toot would. Act refreshed. Please wait. You see, someone is doing right now, and you can see wine conversion is opened, and the toot wine sweet two underline toot is now our root folder for wine. Windows version is Windows XP, best for all. You can install all, but uh, wine tricks uh, change it sometimes. That is the next step, you need wine tricks. Where you get wine tricks? Yeah, that is a good question. Uh, here's wine tricks. You see, you come from code.google.com slash p slash wine tricks slash. And you can download it here, to click source, browse, trunk, SSC, and you see here wine tricks, you click it. Um, Yes, and you can here see war file. Press Control A, Control C, copy that and create a new file on your server like this. Uh no, not here. Not here. The see I have uh, many on my server. And you see here is my wine tricks for you can do it like a uh, document anlegen and and an empty file. And you can use the text file and then remove the extension like .txt and you have the wine tricks and copy the text from here in your wine tricks folder and you can start it. Very easy. Yes. Okay. Next one. So you have wine tricks. We have uh, the wine prefix. Okay. Now we must start every time this with the wine prefix Wintut. That you install it correctly in my uh, new wine prefix. And we can type, oops, uh, a little bit fucky, this one, like this. Okay, I zoom it a little bit in. You can see that here. I will zoom it later a little bit, that you can see that. Or I can uh, do that with. Um, yes, I can do that. A little bit bigger. So. Now you can see what I'm type. You see, I'm type wine prefix home Sanchez win dot win should. And now I start wine tricks. Oops, start wine tricks. I press enter. And now wine tricks is opened. You see, this is wine tricks. When you after not see that, you can do that. Check about my wine settings. Okay, it's correct. One wine CUG worked. Yes, one Windows XP. And now we install some founts. We need core founts to do that. Core founts are inserted. And yet, and now it comes the tricky part. You must insert it in the right order. When you insert in the wrong order, you can't install .NET 4 or Fauci Runtime 2010. First of all, we install 
Fuzzy Runtime 2010. Use it. Alone. Zack, zack. I accept the license. And I'll see. Since the installation is complete, or in German, the installation is abgeschlossen. Okay, next file. Okay, I hope uh, you can see it all here, what is then. The next one is the Fauci Runtime 2008. Yes, accept the license. Installation word is configured. Would have worked. If we can see it, successful. Yes, that's good. Next one, and the next one is .NET 4. So you must install .NET 4 after that, or you can't install it again. Yes, .NET fully work on this install. Blah blah. Mm -hmm. Extracting. Yes, it take a long time. I hope it work. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Yes, it worked. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Take a little bit to install that, yes. <coughs> na 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 na. <coughs> Yes, a very long time. Do you think it's stuck? It's 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 not stuck. It's run. But it's take a take a time. See you. Da dum da dum da dum. Da dum da dum. The installation is complete. Or in German, the installation is abgeschlossen. Now you have completed that, what you need, first of all. And after that, click here in, in the Wine Tricks Fenster, Direct X9. Click it. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be using this. Blah, blah, blah. It's normal. Some errors will appear. Yes, you only have to find version. Blah, blah, blah. But after that, it runs. And it says all the files you need, XDID audio, and something like else. Worked fine. Thanks. Next one, and you see, they've inserted, next one is MS, MSASN1, MSASN. Okay, insert it. Okay, this is a fast installation. Um now we install install crypt this crypt version crypt 3.2 Yes and that is the quickie part after that later Okay that is all we install CMD it's saver when you have installed CMD After the Z dot net for installed mono is not installed no mono installation Okay, that is all. Oh. And then we need M MSXML3. I think when you not download it or catch it in your bro in your uh, Wine Catch Wine Tricks Catch folder, you must download it from a website. Uh, but uh, Wine Tricks will say it to you. And you can now do it. Next, next, uh, we do next. Install. Zick, it worked. Yes, well that's what all what you need. To download, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I download all codecs, uh, but uh, you can ins you can download all codecs. It's very uh, good when you download it. Yes, uh, but uh, yeah, you don't need it. I think so. You don't need it. Okay. Now it comes the tricky part. That's not all. Uh, cancel. Yes, cancel, 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 cancel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now there comes the tricky part. Then I go back to my um, my main wine folder. My wine 32. No, no confusing. 
it's only my, uh, my folder where I run my server. To show you what is the tricky part to run that on the new wine version with the new daisy version with the hive axed. It's a little bit tricky. You see here, go to the library tab, in my opinion is it Bibliothek, it's German, and you see something here appears, crypt, search for crypt32 and do edit it and use the built-in wine. That is extremely important. When you have native or, or native and built-in, it will fail. I think built-in and native will work. But use built-in, it's saver, and then you can start your server. I have something like this, die.d, built-in, built-in, see you all there. Yes, yes. And make msx on a 3, do built-in 2, and all is fine. And the rest, yes, it's here. Fecom, blah, blah, blah. You see, all files here, QCAP, Quartz, Secure, this is my my things about it inside uh, with the uh, all codex server and here MSP, MSCP, MSVCP100. When it not stand here, use it here, type here, oops, MSCP, MS, MS, VCP100 and click here. This button, in my opinion, is festlegen. Uh, I don't know what is in an English stand, an English version Windows. And that is all. Yes. And now you can start the server and it looks like this. Zick. Zick. I go to the first part. And you see? Server runs. My server. You see here, run others. And here is the Hive, Hive X monitor, exactly on Wine. Thanks for watching and give me your beans.